got a complicated looking set of equations to solve here involving x and y. We're not actually asked to solve them for x and y. We want to work out the value of x plus 1 times y plus 1. Now in my courses I talk a lot about the idea of symmetry in algebra and places where we can sort of use symmetry or structure to solve problems uh, in clever ways. And this is exactly an example of a question with that sort of a uh, strategy in it. So one of the things you might think about doing uh, to begin with in questions like this, I often suggest this as a strategy, it doesn't quite work here, but it almost will, is to just multiply all of the equations together, right? Because you've got all these terms, we want x plus 1 and y plus 1, and they've all got x, y, x plus 1 and y plus 1 in them. Now if I multiplied them all together, right, I'd have an x times x times y times y times x plus 1 times y plus 1. So I'd end up with x squared times y squared times x plus 1 times y plus 1. That would be 7 sixths times 5 thirds times uh, 7 halves. So that's almost worked here. Apart from the fact we've got the x squared y squared term here we don't want because we want x plus 1 times y plus 1. So we can just tweak this method a little bit. If I called these equations a, b, and c, what if we do multiply the b and the c together? That gives us the x plus 1 and the y plus 1 we want, but it's going to give us an extra x times y. So instead, if we divide by equation a, that's got x uh, times y in it. Well, if I multiply all of those together then, so uh, b times c will give us an x, a y, an x plus 1, and a y plus 1. And then equation a has that x times y that we can divide by, and it'll all cancel out. So that's equal to... Uh, you know, equation B times equation C divided by equation A, the right hand sides. So 5 thirds times 7 over 2 divided by 7 sixths. Uh, dividing by a fraction, we turn it upside down and multiply. So that's the same as 5 thirds times 7 over 2 times 6 sevenths. And we can do this without even doing any, any actual multiplication. The sevens cancel out here and the three and the two cancel with a six. And so we're left with a final answer there uh, of five for a neat final answer.